ever found a better place and now because of what the world is going through I'm going to be reading from Job 5 from verse 22 but because I want to give you a very good broad context I will use the message translation that talks about it from Job 5 20 to 22 you can sit down if you want to So the message translation of Job 5.22 says In farming you, would, you can take it from 20 In farming He will keep you from starving Can somebody say amen? It says in war From being gutted by the sword He says you will be protected from vicious gossip and live fearlessly through any catastrophe. He says, you will shrug off disaster and famine and stroll fearlessly amongst wild animals. He says, you will be on good terms with rocks and mountains. Wild animals will become your good friends you will know that your place on earth is safe. You will look over your goods and nothing would be amiss. You will see your children grow, your family lovely and listen as orchid grass. You would arrive at your grave ripe with many years like sheaves of golden grains at harvest but the more popular one he says in famine and destruction you would laugh you know I, I read that and I quickly went to Psalm 2 verse 4 why should I laugh when I see famine and destruction let's be honest I'm not very sure laughter is the first thing that makes that comes out of your mouth if you see calamity. If you do that, you have attained a higher level of spirituality. Why should I laugh in famine and destruction? And I'll give you a very simple answer. Because my father will do the same. So let's look at Psalms 2. Verse 4. His heaven throned God breaks out laughing. At first, he seemed amused at their presumptions. Now, look at the next verse. Then he gets good and angry, furious, and he shuts them up. Have you seen a baby trying to throw tantrums? Like when they start to maybe walk. And they feel that they can command. And they are, they are throwing punches. Honestly, does it not make you laugh? When you see your baby or a child in your house. In their mind, though, they are fighting. And the punch is just like somebody is doing handkerchief for you like this. They are laughing. What's wrong with this one? What is this one trying to do? That's what God is saying. That the enemy will come. And you're just going to be like, what's wrong with this one? Is somebody getting me? Eh, only God is going to take you out. <laughs> what's wrong with this one? Is somebody getting me? In famine and destruction, my response is laughter. Because he has made a public spectacle of the enemy triumphant so when they come I was teaching somebody in church I told her that the difference between God and the enemy though they may share lion like tendencies one can never go beyond just being a roaring lion but another one has graduated to be the lion of the tribe of Judah 
Not a roaring lion is. Someone that just makes noise. Shouting. Now the Bible says, he's a roaring lion looking for who to what? Now have you understood that the Bible did not say he's a devouring lion? He says he's a roaring lion looking for who to. What does that mean? His roaringness, if there's any word like that, gets you paralyzed to the place where he can now come and devour without you fighting. Have you seen when fear paralyzes people so much that they are stuck, they can't leave? That's what he does. So he uses the fear that he wants you to get when he roars so that you will not say the word. I'll give you a very typical example. So they said this thing is really flying around, this bug. So I found out that two days ago, I started to cough. And yesterday, I was, my wife and I were out of town. And I was already getting into that, oh my God, for the sake. Oh, what's going on? I won't lie to you guys now. Oh, I, can't, I can't think. Maybe we should cancel. But I entered the toilet. There's no remedy in enter the toilet. <laughs> it's a deep you churchy. Too much deepness. You don't know whether I wanted to say that and I took a poop. <laughs> but I entered the toilet. Come on now. And I told the devil something. And I said, just because I believe that Jesus died, I already believe that I cannot fall sick. Me falling sick is saying that Jesus did not die for me or that he did not heal my infirmities on the cross. So if you cannot get me to believe that he did not die, then you cannot get me to believe that I can fall sick. And that was what I said. I didn't do any reka, braka, na, sata, bro, shaka. None of that. No. I exercised authority based on knowledge. And earlier before, about two months ago, a month ago, I had the same thing. And I was on my bed, tossing back and forth. And I was feeling, and I was saying the word. I came back up this morning and everything in me feels free as a bird because I used the word. I say the enemy is but a roaring lion. But you see the one behind you is the one that can roar and do. Do you understand? Is the lion of the tribe of Judah. So when situations come and they want to make it feel like as if it wants to take you over, please, the first thing you should do. <laughs> you need to laugh. So can we practice it? Because some of you, you have not been able to laugh at your bank account. It's like as if it's that account that is laughing at you. The way you tread with caution to the ATM. Are you about to? I can see some, some of you are catching it. Aha, yeah. Are we about to laugh? Are you about to exercise this thing I'm talking about? See, faith is reality. Oh. We are not trying to conjure something. This is real. Are we ready? So I want you to rise up. For lack of a better word, the Bible used famine and destruction. For some of you, it might not be famine and destruction, it may be sapper. But you are going to laugh. For some of you, it's the fact that there is no wedding ring on your finger. But you are going to laugh. For some of you, it's the fact that you wanted a promotion and you didn't get it. But you are going to laugh. For some of you, it's the fact that you feel that everybody is enjoying life and you are struggling through life. But this time you are going to laugh. So I want you to think about that thing that is synonymous to suffering, synonymous to poverty, pain, and I want you to laugh. You see, the good thing about this is, don't let your enemy cheat you from laughing. Because when you are in trouble, they will not laugh on your behalf. They may laugh at you, but they may not laugh with you. So please, I see that people have only small challenges. I appreciate it. Hey, hey! Hey! Ha, 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 ha! Hey, 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 <laughs> I say I am laughing at famine and destruction. 
I say I am laughing. Hey. Hey. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jam your hands together for Jesus. Jam your hands together for Jesus. All right.